Hi quilters, today's video is a total tongue twister. I know that I speak very slowly and I'm really grateful that you have the patience to put up with that in my videos. And today I'm going to have to ask for you to be very patient because this video is about a real tongue twister and it's sometimes um, hard to describe, especially in writing. Um, I start typing fast and a lot of times the wrong word comes out and it's real important in this particular uh, technique and about this part of using the sewing machine that you understand how it works and the right words for it. So I'm going to show you um, about using different pressures, settings, pressure, on your presser foot. So this is the presser foot of a sewing machine, but the settings for how hard the machine forces that foot down is called the pressure setting. Pressure, how much pressure the machine is gonna put down on that foot. And it can really change things. It can change things about your sewing um, and especially about your quilting um, and very especially about your machine quilting. If you are machine quilting three layers of um, two layers of fabric and a layer of batting, especially if the batting has any loft to it at all, like a polyester bat or say a poly cotton blend, it's really important to get the right pressure setting because what happens if you don't is the if there's too much pressure pushed down on the foot, your quilt will pucker. It may pucker on the back of the quilt on the bottom and you may not even see it until you're done. Believe me, this has happened to me. Um, or you may actually even see it happening on the top and you you may become frustrated and wonder what is wrong? Why is this not working? And what I used to do before I understood how all this works, I used to pull that quilt apart when I was working on it. I had my fingers pulling the, the fabric taut so that it wouldn't pucker when really all I needed to do was loosen up the setting on the machine for how much pressure was being put down on the foot. So it's not always the same. You can um, change it and I encourage you to do so. Just like changing the tension on your bobbin for the type of thread that you have in it, it, it should always have the same reaction. The same with the presser foot, the presser, there's a tongue twister. The, the press or foot has to be adjusted for pressure depending on how much you're putting underneath that foot. Okay, so let's look at first the machine settings. I've got several different machines to show you. And then I want to show you the little experiment I did with some scraps of fabric and some different battings and different settings on the pressure. On this sewing machine, the pressure pushing down on the foot, the settings are right here. It's a dial, so it turns, okay? This being this large bar means that's the heaviest. It's really pushing hard. And then um, a medium setting, and then very, very light setting. I found that for most of the machine quilting, the better setting was right about here right somewhere in the middle, okay? Let's look at a few other machines. On this machine, the pressure setting for the foot is up on top here, okay? It's pressed all the way in. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna press this ring just around the top and we'll get a close-up of that. Okay, see that pop up? Now, now it has almost no pressure whatsoever on the presser foot. And the, it, the presser foot is down, okay? So I'm going to push this in a little and then try and move my fabric. Oh, that's pretty snug. Press it more, tighter, more, very tight. Can't even budge it. And there's still, it can go even further, okay? So if you were sewing some very, very thin, lightweight fabrics, you might want it on the heaviest setting. But probably for machine quilting, I would say you want to come into this medium range here for the right for the right pressure on your foot. Let's look at another machine.
Okay, here's an old singer. The adjustment for the pressure is this knob on top. And I'm, I'll focus in on this a little bit, but there's a indicator on the side that shows how much pressure there is. So if we turn this, you can actually see a little red arrow inside here, and it's going down. It's making more pressure as I turn this clockwise. If I turn it counterclockwise, the arrow, the little red arrow goes up. See that? It's set at number two now, and I'm turning the knob on top, and the arrow is going down. Now it's on four, and it's coming down towards six. Okay, so that's going to be the adjustment on this type of a machine. Here are the test pieces I was working on. This is just scrap fabric. This piece has warm and white. It's a batting made by Warm and Natural. It's needled, so it's very compressed. It's low loft, very warm. It's one of my favorite battings. Um, but not a lot of opportunities for it to pucker. Now on this, see this pucker here? This was the um, highest setting, most pressure on the presser foot. And it definitely did pucker. What you'll find is, as you're sewing just one stitch, you may not pucker. When you come to an intersection where the material is absolutely secure by this stitch line, you're forcing, the foot is forcing the fabric forward, and that's what creates a pucker. Watch me do this with my finger. See that? It just creates a pucker. It's just pushing down too hard. Okay? So then I lightened it up. Little tiny bit of a pucker right there lightened it up way too much and I got a, a crooked stitch line because there was no pressure at all on the fabric and the fabric could just move around anywhere. That doesn't work either. So this is almost like Goldilocks. The very last setting I picked, nice stitch length, nice and straight, no pucker whatsoever. Okay, but the settings were not the same for using this batting here. This is a higher loft batting. This is a polyester bat. See how much thicker this is? Let's bring this warm and natural, warm and white. See the difference? There's a lot of difference there. This is almost twice as thick and because it's polyester it's kind of spongy like. I mean it's, it's got a nice loft to it. So of course what happens when it's on the highest setting? Huge pucker. That is just huge. Okay, so and again, I'll do it with my finger. Just pushing that fabric, just a big huge pucker. So this is the, the strongest setting, the most pressure down on the foot. Raised it up, still puckered. Took it up to almost no pressure, and again, you can see, not a straight line, fabric wobbled, no pucker, but still, this isn't good. So then I brought it back down a little bit, and got just the perfect stitch. Straight stitching, so there was just enough pressure on the three layers to keep the fabric moving straight, but no pucker at all. I hope this helps you quite a bit with your machine quilting. It took me a while to figure it out, and um, it helps me every time to have a little piece of scrap fabric and the batting that I'm gonna be using for that project to test my machine with each time I start a project, um, especially if I've changed my battings. If you're not sure where the settings are on your machine, check your owner's manual if you have it, or um, go online and see if there's uh, an owner's manual or a video out there that shows your machine, um, certainly feel free to email me if there's anything that I can do to help you. Um, I'd be more than happy to do that. Thanks very much for watching.